Next, let's talk about the timeline for composing this essay. Um, as you can tell, we are presenting the assignment prompt this week. Next week is spring break. Um, so then picking up after that, we will continue writing and working on the assignment. So we're gonna do the brainstorm and the overview today. Um, and then next class, we will start beginning the, the research that you are gonna conduct. Um, during spring break, I would like you guys to keep a research journal. Um, so just when you notice those uh, language habits or when you think of a language habit that goes with your speech community, um, jot it down real quick. I find um, the most handy way to do that, like to keep a observation journal, is to use the um, like the notes in my phone. So like, you know, when I just randomly have a thought, I can open up the notes, write it down, and go about my day. Um, or if a lot of times you'll see the language habits as you're watching TV or reading like an article. Um, so anytime, anytime you see a language habit that applies to your speech community, try and keep track of it and gather up as much data as you can. Um, so when we return from spring break, we'll start off our first meeting on the argument outline. Um, so kind of looking at what kind of claims might you make, what kind of subtopics might you break your data into. And we'll look at some examples of subtopics later in the overview. Um, and then the following meeting, we will do the drafting, um, the rough draft workshop. And your rough draft will be due the next week on Monday where we will have peer response. Um, and then after the peer response, we will have revision and editing. Your final draft for this essay is due on Friday, April 17th at 11.59 p.m. So um, take a few minutes to either ask questions or share your thoughts about this timeline. And in addition, um, note down these deadlines in your personal calendar.